collection video and the reason I wanted to do this video is because I have always wanted to do um, like a big makeup collection video one day down the road especially when I get a nice little filming corner set up and a nice vanity desk set up and all of that stuff I really wanted to be able to put to film a um, makeup collection video but since I already have my makeup set up in my bathroom, I thought instead I would show you the way that I have it set up in the bathroom, which is where I put on my makeup. And um, of course right here is my vanity desk, I've talked about this before, and I want to get everything moved over into it and get a nice filming corner set up, which probably will end up being this corner, but I'm not for sure yet. Maybe if I can find a better one, I will switch to that. But for right now, it's this one, and I eventually wanted to get my makeup set up in all these drawers and stuff. But before I do that, I wanted to film the way my makeup is set up right now, which is all in the bathroom. So that's going to be what this video is about today. Um, maybe in a few months from now, or a year or so, I'm not sure how long it's going to take, but I'm usually pretty slow about stuff like that. I will be able to show you another makeup collection where everything will be in this desk. And I wanted to have like a series of makeup collection videos on my channel where you can see how I had it set up originally just for everyday use and then how it grew into a bigger and better um, setup. The way that I have my makeup set up now in the bathroom is a way that I've used my makeup for the past five years or more. Um, and I'll probably go into depth a little bit more about that when we get in there. So um, I just wanted to show you the way that I've always had it set up, always, ever since I moved into my first house and got my own bathroom. And um, now I'm trying to transition it over to a nice vanity desk. I've always liked the idea of a vanity desk, but I'm so used to it being in the bathroom. And I don't also don't really have good lighting in here. As you can see, there's all there's shadows on the wall already. But I don't really have very good lighting in here. The lighting in the bathroom is always the best. So it's hard for me to commit to this as far as daily application of makeup because I never know how it's going to turn out. Anyways, that's beside the point. So um, look forward to a makeup collection uh, down the road that is going to be is going to be featuring this desk. As for right now, I'll show you what I have on top of it, and then we'll move into the bathroom to show you the real makeup. Okay, so starting off, this is the desk that I have begun filming at. Um, the desk we picked up at a flea market, well not a flea market, at um, like an antique, it's like an antique store, but it's basically set up like a flea market. And it was $55. It's a little writing desk. The chair we found at the same place for $15 and we came home. It's actually um, the, I don't know what material that is, but like the white part, the little iron part or whatever it's called, uh, was gold when we bought it and we spray painted it white. I spray painted it white. And then my husband did the upholstery on the seating. Um, the seating was just like a really old floral print. So we just switched it out for something we already had around the house, which is like a plain um, beige cloth. It's actually kind of like an itchy cloth. We originally bought it for curtains and then we didn't make the curtains that we were going to make. So we had some laying around so I had him uh, reupholster the seat with that and that is where the desk and the chair came from. On the desktop I have already started sitting stuff up there. I think the desktop is the way that I want it to look. However all of the drawers are empty. Um, you have a little drawer right here in the middle if you can't see it and then you have the three drawers on either side. Nothing is in any of those drawers right now. I hope to move all of my makeup into them and get everything set up and situated, but I haven't done that yet. So on the desktop, um, we have right over here three jars of makeup brushes, and I will zoom in on all of that in just a minute. This is a little Eiffel, Eiffel Tower knickknack I picked up from Hobby Lobby. This is what I hauled in my What I Got for Christmas video. It was a Christmas gift, and it's like an Ulta vanity uh, makeup set. And then these are my Stila liquid lipsticks and my Ulta lip glosses. I bought some nice drawers to put those in, and since they looked really nice, I wanted to put them on display. And of course, I have a candle and then a mirror. The mirror is more for when I film videos. Um, I don't think I purchased it for that reason, but that's what it's become. <laughs> Okay, so this is kind of hard to do from up here at this angle, but these uh, three containers right here are going to have all of my makeup brushes in them. This is a mug, a coffee mug that I recently purchased at Kato. Um, when I did that haul video on my channel of the uh, clothing haul with Ulta, I mean not Ulta, with Kato and Old Navy in it, that is where I picked that mug up that day. And of course it just has a J on it. So I put my fluffiest brushes in there. These are mostly face brushes. And these ended up being some of the most common brushes that I use. This jar here, these two jars I picked up at, um, where was it? T 
TJ Maxx or something like that uh, a year or so ago when we were living in California. This has all of my eye brushes in it and little small brushes. And then this one just has the like second, I don't know, the medium fluffy brushes, like just the bigger ones. This little makeup sponge I got from Target from Up and Up, the Up and Up brand, and I really don't like it that much. And I'm not going to go into too much detail. I could do a whole brush video. But um, those are my makeup brushes. Of course, right next to it is just a little knickknack that I wanted for my backgrounds in my videos. And this little Ulta, this came from Ulta. It's a little makeup case. I'm going to quickly show you what it is. It has an eye palette right there. And if you want to see this in depth, it is included in my What I Got for Christmas haul. These here are lip glosses. These are little eyeliners. Then you have a drawer that you can pull out. Both drawers. These have some blushes and color correcting concealers and regular concealers. And then this bottom drawer has an eye makeup remover. Some These look like eyeshadows. It also has some cream liners some brow powders, and some eye primers and a brow wax. But like I said, if you would like a more in-depth look at that little makeup case, then um, there is a video that already has that on it, and it is the What I Got for Christmas haul. These are my um, Stila liquid lipsticks, which I also hauled in an Ulta and Sephora haul. And these are all of the ones that I own. These are little minis. You can see how big they are. These are the little minis, and I got those. Those were like Christmas gift sets, I think. And I bought those for myself. <laughs> and I bought these little acrylic drawers from Fred's. They were really cheap. And so I needed. A, I wanted to put all of these in one specific place and keep them all together. So this was the best thing that I could come up with. And of course, they're stackable. And since they look so pretty. I just thought I would put them out on display, and I thought, what better place to put them than in the background of my videos? This is a little candle that I got from Fred's? No, Dollar General. And it smells really good. Let me just take the lid off so you can smell it. Mmm, smells good. It's called Coconut Waters. It smells really good. It actually doesn't put off much of the smell when you're burning it, but it smells really good in the candle. I mean, yeah, in the jar. Um, and then over here I have a little trash can, and behind that I have a surge protector, which you can't see, because I have lots of things that I need to plug in. So that trash can is just for, like, Q-tips and things like that that I throw away as I'm using stuff here at the desk. And this is mostly just filming place. It's not a makeup place yet. And this is basically just for looks because I don't use it for anything else. I come in here to get my makeup brushes to go back to the bathroom and put on my makeup. So that is all that I have here. Okay, so there's me. Um, my camera's dying, so I just have this cord draped all the way across the room. I wanted to be able to back up and show you the entire bathroom from upon entering, but I'm not going to be able to stretch my cord that far, so let me just do a little spin. This is the shower. So this is our bathroom door from the hallway, and the wallpaper's tearing off the walls. And I just have some little candles here because I didn't know what else to do with that space. And then of course you have your shower and your... Uh, toilet and vanity and all of that stuff. Over here on the side you have your towel rack and another mirror. I usually go back and forth between this mirror and that mirror and apply makeup. This one because I can take my glasses off and really get in the mirror and look and then that is for like makeup that I don't have to get in the mirror to look at. So let me show you quickly how I have this set up. By the way I might as well just show you everything that I have in here. <laughs> this trash can of course. So these three drawers here are my main makeup stash. Um, it started off as one drawer um, several years ago and then as it grew it became a few more drawers and then recently I purchased this to grow my collection specifically for the purposes of growing my makeup collection because I knew I wanted to purchase more things and I was running out of space in these three drawers and I wanted something big and this was going to be like my max. So I was going to purchase this and then fill it up and once it was full we're done. Um, and then on top I have a little bitty jewelry drawer case or however you want to, whatever you want to call it. <clears throat> but I wanted to give you a quick overview. So this mirror, this side of the mirror and that side of the mirror is a door. This is my husband's side. This is my side. I do have a little bit of makeup in there that I might need to go through. And then my all of my products are in these cabinets as well <laughs> just to show you how much I have overtaken the bathroom 
So starting in the very bottom cabinet, we have, uh, let me zoom in. We have our nail polish collection and our nail dryer. Let me get my finger in the camera. Nail dryer. On the next shelf, we have some hair products. That is not my hairbrush, that's my dog's hairbrush. And then on the shelf above, we have some feminine products. And I am slowly collecting my empties over here so that I can do an empties video. Um, on the top of the cabinet, we have a lot more junk. This is all my stuff, unfortunately. And Anthony doesn't get much room in here. <laughs> so let me zoom in on these. This is a little bit of a miscellaneous drawer. We have some jewelry cleaner up top. Uh, this basket was in my uh, makeup tag video and it's just full of junk. Um, over here we have some prescription medication. These are some old soap rose petals that I use for decorations every now and then. Of course we have cotton rounds and um, some teeth whitening stuff. And then um, basically this, drawer can, this uh, shelf consists of lotions and body mists and that's pretty much the gist of that. And then the very top has all of my hair products. And as you can see, a nail polish remover and there's a teeth whitening thing right there in the corner, a makeup brush, but mostly it's just hair products. So I'd like to keep this video as short and sweet as possible, but I'm not really sure how possible that really is. So we're going to get started with these drawers. I'm gonna pull out the first one and we're gonna have this drawer consists of everyday makeup. So I have piled everything in here that I use on a daily basis. It was eyeliner, which I'm not using anymore. And then this was the small little eye palette that I had and I wanted to put some eyeshadow in there, so I've got that. This I really love. This is the e.l.f. Tone Correcting Powder and it's almost out, or it's not almost out, but I've hit pen on that and I really like that one. That is my oil blotting sheets. Um, I've got an eye primer, I've got concealers, I've got mascara, and a couple of shadow singles that I use as inner corner highlights, and then I have a translucent setting powder back here. Second drawer is a junk drawer, if the camera will focus. Okay, so in this drawer we have mostly eye products and some brow products. These are some eyeliners that I got in a Christmas pack. These, this is a brow gel, this is the Anastasia Brow Dip Pomade, I have mostly mascaras, eyeliners, glitter mascara, glitter eyeliner type things that are just kind of like, I don't always use them, but they're nice to have there. Okay, so going into the third drawer, this is a bronzer drawer. So I have a regular Fit Me, Maybelline Fit Me powder as a bronzer, have the Pixie Contour Powder. Um, these are a lot, these are just some that I've collected in trying out different products to see which one I could get to work for me the best. This is an NYC Sun and Bronze. This is a Sephora Trio. This is the Wet n Wild Contouring Palette. In the back we have just a regular Wet n Wild uh, bronzing color. And then here I just have like a, a darker concealer that I use interchangeably as a bronzer sometimes. Starting with the middle container, or whatever you want to call it. This um, is an overflow lip product drawer <laughs> and then has turned into more things. So here are my Wet n Wild lipsticks right here. Um, I try to have some organization to these as much as possible but it's just not happening. I have a few of the lip paints by LA Girl. I have four of those and they were all kind of all together but they're not anymore. This is just a my concealer. It's kind of random. I have a concealer here and here and here. And this is a color correcting concealer. And then I have a blue mascara and a purple mascara because I thought those would be fun to try out. And then I also bought a few colorful eyeliners. This is only two of them. I think I have more. They're pretty though. And I think that's a purple one or yeah, that's purple. And then this is like a brighter blue color. And I haven't found a way to wear those yet, but they are very pretty. And that's, that's what makes up that drawer. Second drawer is going to be our highlighting drawer. This is a new Wet n Wild highlighting palette that I purchased. This is a very, very old makeup product that I have had for years and don't really use. It's by LA Colors and it's called Shimmer Dust. I think you could probably use it the best as a highlighter, so I put it in my highlighting drawer. This is the Becca even say on there? Yeah. 
This is the Becca liquid something or other highlighting stuff and um, I got that in my $20 package with this or the travel set was $20 and it came with this and that and they're the same shade just two different formulations this is my champagne pop uh, back here we have this is my little $20 little baby Laura Mercier powder and then this is an, in a NYX um, highlighter and then my first highlighter that I purchased was a Sephora brand highlighter. Oh, I didn't mention this one. This is a, you can't see it. This is a Wet n Wild highlighting thing by the Fergie something or other, whatever you want to call it. And I forgot to mention that. I bought that uh, off, based off the recommendation of Kathleen Lights. And the third drawer consist of blushes. This drawer is pretty packed full, so I probably need to halt with the blushes. This is the Dream Bouncy. I had my husband get me those for Christmas one year. This is a Wet n Wild. That's the newest one. This I just thought was a really pretty lavender pink color. It's a very cheap brand. It's color mates. I think I paid a dollar for it. NYC, the e.l.f. blush palette, my Tarte Amazonian clay palette, and what's back here? Oh, Sephora. That was my first favorite blush powder formula. formula. Um, if you go back and watch my very first January favorites video, I mentioned this, which used to be my one and only way of applying blush. And then when I finally bought a powder, which this was the very first powder that I ever owned and I stopped liking it, then I switched to this one. Then I bought this as my first powder in the last few years, and I really loved that. Then we have the Fit Me blush. I was interested in trying that out. I thought this was just a really pretty deep color. It's probably very similar to that one. And of course the very first blush, which I still keep in case I need it. And then another Dream Bouncy. Have not tried this. This is a liquid blush by Rimmel. This is the third and the final um, drawer set that I have over here. And in the top drawer, this is our lipstick drawer. There was a little bit of organization to it, but there's really not anymore. So these are my Maybelline lipsticks. This is just a little chapstick. That's my favorite chapstick, so I keep that one in there. This is a Maybelline liquid lipstick. This is a random NYX liquid suede lipstick. Um, these two are Color Whispers. That is a balm by somebody, some drugstore. These are two Ulta lip crayons. These are some old school lip lip things and here we have a Kate by Rimmel a Revlon and the one and only max lipstick that I own Gosh. this is my one and only mac lipstick and it comes in a color that I use most often <laughs> and that is our lip drawer oh and then these are the two little NARS lip crayons I got these for a birthday gift from Sephora. Second drawer. This no longer consists of makeup. I keep this tape in here so that I can do eyeshadow makeup. And then I have some miscellaneous stuff. Miscellaneous, whatever. I have a nail buffer. I have lots of buttons. And I have some old eye sponges that I don't use anymore. And then the final drawer is more random stuff. This is mostly nail products. I have a nail glue, cuticle stuff, nail files. That's a zit cream. This is like a lip exfoliant. This is my eyebrow stenciling kit. Tooth, toothbrush cap thing, whatever. Acrylic nail stuff. Tweezers. Eyebrow things. Lots of nail clippers. That type of stuff. And this here is my face washing sponge. Along with some facial cleanser. And for some random times when I need this. I have my Neutrogena Deep Clean Scrub. And then I keep my sponge here on the sink. And then I have these two sitting here by their lonesomes. This was from my Ipsy bag. This is sitting out to remind me to keep using it. And then this is out because I use it um, as a moisturizer most frequently. So I just leave it sitting out because it's easier to get to. And then this mirror here has a door that opens and I'm gonna show you all of the makeup things that I have in there. Ta 
Okay, so I'm gonna zoom in. Okay, so this is the bottom shelf, and of course we have lots of mess going on around here because this is very old. This is the Maybelline, I have mostly foundations in here, so this is the Maybelline Fit Me foundation, this is a CoverGirl, this, this, and this are all makeup setting sprays. Back here, in the very back, I have my eye drops. Here I have my eye makeup remover, um, glasses cleaner, primer, BB cream, foundation, 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 color corrector, this and everything behind it is perfume. And this is a found uh, this is a primer and this is a foundation, a Rimmel foundation. Then here we have perfume and creams. <laughs> I make up or just makeup remover wipes. These are some exfoliant wipes. More perfume and a primer and an argan oil and a cold cream makeup remover type thing. There's my Nivea Men, some dental floss. Um, toner, I don't use that very frequently, but I have it. That is a day serum over here. I'm not too fond of it. Um, this is a scent that my mom used to wear a lot, and I bought one just recently because I wanted to smell it to remember her. And then, of course, we have more perfume, my everyday deodorant, and back there, my trusty Cornhuskers lotion. Okay, and that is everything in these three drawers and in that cabinet door there. Now we are going to move on to... This tall drawer set, whatever you want to call it, plastic storage, that's what I call them. And you're going to hear my cord dragging. Um, on the very top, I did have some um, eye brush, uh, what are they called? Makeup brush containers, but I've moved those to the desktop um, on the vanity. So this is pretty empty now, but I have a little pink storage thing here with jewelry in it and I'll show you what that is. This here is going to be stud earrings and the second drawer are more like dangly earrings, longer, bigger earrings. And then this very bottom drawer is just rings. Lots of little rings. They're very beautiful. And then over here I have a watch that I bought from Walmart. Um, everyone is wearing the Michael Kors watch. And it's just a nice gold watch. And I thought I wanted one too. Except I didn't go out and pick up a Michael Kors watch. I found this one at Walmart for $12. And it looks very classy to me. So I like that for jewelry purposes more than telling the time. And then this is a random brush that I have cleaned once and really needs more and more cleaning. I don't know what happened, but it is just sitting over here until it can get cleaned. <laughs> okay, so this container has two top thinner drawers and then uh, three deeper bottom drawers. We are going to start from the top and work our way down to the bottom. The top drawer houses all of our eyeshadows, believe it or not. This is a lot of eyeshadow to me. For someone who doesn't really do makeup for a living, for someone who doesn't really buy makeup for the purposes of YouTube, this is a lot of makeup. <laughs> um, in the very, very back, I have two facial masks. One is a charcoal mask and one is a some kind of mint mask. Um, but we're not gonna study that. We're just gonna look at the eyeshadows. So right here I have one, two, three, four hard candy eyeshadow palettes. These are some of my favorite drugstore palettes because you get multiple colors in one little case and they are, I think they're pretty good eyeshadows. Um, here we have three random hard candy single eyeshadows. Uh, right here we have a Wet n Wild glitter eyeshadow. And we have an extra L'Oreal and Valuable eyeshadow over here to the, net, to the other side of that. And I can't get my finger in there. <laughs> right here we have our two e.l.f. lustrous eyeshadows in gold and like a purple color. So we've got these nice and full. These uh, trays are just some little trays that I bought at Walmart and stuffed them full of eyeshadows. <laughs> okay, here we have two Maybelline singles, two Ulta singles. These are some hard candy singles um, that I got in a pack during the Christmas season. 
uh, not this past year, 2015, but the year of 2014. These are my two L'Oreal Infallibles. Um, here's a third one. Let me try to go through what these palettes are. This is a Mary Kay eyeshadow palette that I won at a Mary Kay party. I did not purchase it. This is a Elf. This is an Elf nudes palette that I found at Big Lots. And these are a couple of LA Color palettes that are just some old pieces of makeup that I've had and haven't wanted to get rid of. I really want to try to use up what I have versus just getting rid of it or giving it away or throwing it out. Moving on to the third little row, we have four Maybelline eyeshadow quads. And they all look like this. We've got four of those. I've got a random CoverGirl quad. I found this at Big Lots as well. And Wet n Wild. I got that from Walmart. NYC. Can't remember where I found this. One of the dollar stores or Walmart. Probably one of the dollar stores. This was something I found at Claire's. I found them on clearance and I got one for my sister for Christmas one year. And then I thought, well, I should just get one for myself too. These are hard candy. I also found these in a gift set around Christmas time at the same time that I found these here and I bought those. It was in a makeup craze. And then these are some two random ones that I have shoved over to the side because as you'll see in my makeup tag video, these are some of the first eyeshadow palettes that I ever purchased and used. And I don't use them anymore so they just stay over here to the side. And that is that drawer. What's back here? This is really neat. I should talk about this in a video. This is from the brand LA Colors. It is a loose, shimmering loose eyeshadow with a brush. So it's like a, an eyeshadow pigment and it's um, pink and just shimmery and glittery. And it would look really pretty as a lid color on top of um, like a center lid color or something like that. It would look really pretty. So I wanted to try that out. I haven't tried it yet and I should try it out and I should put it in a video. Moving on to the second drawer, we have some lip products because that's what I have the most of, lips and eyeshadow. Um, over here we have three little eyeshadow palettes that didn't fit up here in the top. These are from a Christmas gift set that I got. If you look at what I got for Christmas haul, you'll see that. And that's what those are. And then I have a makeup brush cleaner. And this is the white paint that I bought for my Marilyn Manson video. Back here I have mostly lip gloss. What's back here? Lip gloss, chapsticks, moisturizers, things like that. Here are a bunch of old school lip glosses that I'm not wearing anymore, but you know, I often buy makeup and don't wear it very much. So it's not that I don't wear it anymore, it's just that I never fully gave it a chance to be worn, and now it just sits in the back. <laughs> so I need to keep in mind to use these again. And then this little drawer right here, we have two powdered makeup powders. This is my really old CoverGirl powder that I used to wear every day. Real Technique sponge. This is a really cool elf brush that I found on their website. This was $10. I wanted to use it for bronzing, but it's actually a little too big for my face. So, I don't really use it, but it's really pretty. These are some eyeshadows from Hard Candy. And we have another little eyeshadow here. Some little eyeshadow pencils. Again, those were just kind of random because they wouldn't fit up here in the top drawer. Moving along, we are going to open the third drawer here. And this is going to be a palette drawer. It was not supposed to be a palette drawer, but I've been collecting palettes and I just needed a bulky place to store them. So right here we have a tray of some um, mascaras. These are all mascaras, just things that I've opened that I haven't really been crazy about. And I want to remember to keep using, but I haven't done very well with that yet. This is the packaging for the Becca Jaclyn Hill Champagne Pop. And this is my packaging for the Kathleen Lights Color Pop. I wanted to keep that. These eyeshadows are still in their packaging, but this highlight is not. But I wanted to keep the packaging because I think it's so pretty. Okay, there I am. Here we have the Makeup Geek eyeshadow palette. This is a Z palette, but I keep all of my Makeup Geek shadows in it. Next we have the Smashbox eyeshadow palette. My husband got me that for Christmas. And next you will see the NYX contour palette. I also asked for that for Christmas. And then after that we have our two Morphe palettes. We have the 35W and 35O. 
I really enjoy those. I would own every palette of theirs if I could. I'm actually very interested in creating a palette of my own of a lot of their single eyeshadows. Very excited about that. Can't wait. And I'll do a video of that if I finally collect the shadows that I'm looking for. Okay. Next to last drawer, we have some garbage. Um, right here is our garbage. <laughs> this, These here came in this package. But I just thought that was a pretty cool little package and I didn't want to throw it away. So I haven't. These are the extra magnets that came in my came with my Z palette when I purchased it. So you can uh, peel the stickers off and stick them to the back of any eyeshadow pans that you might have already. And then use that for your uh, magnetic Z palette. <coughs> I just keep those down there. And then these are the little boxes that my Makeup Geek eyeshadows came in. I kept those for the purpose of my winter makeup tutorial video. But now I just keep them because they're pretty. So this is my Glam Glow uh, box. It's empty. Uh, these came in it. One is a lip balm and one is a lip exfoliant. Um, it's not a mask. It's an exfoliant, like a scrub. Here we have some extra lipsticks and lip glosses. And then here I have all of my false lashes. Um, I, don't have a, I don't really have a whole lot. I have one, two, three, six pairs. And the reason I purchased so many at the same time was because I was interested in trying out different styles and different different things like that. These are three pairs right here and they don't count because I got I received these as a gift for Christmas. If you can tell there's three different uh, packs there. Um, I haven't tried these out yet so I did not purchase these myself. The rest of them I did purchase. I purchased this one most recently at dollar I think it was Fred's and they were a dollar fifty and they look nice to me. Then all of the rest of them came from Walmart. So the rest of them are four pairs. This is a lash tool and a lash glue that came in that pack there, I believe. And I just left it out because, you know, that's the only glue I have. <laughs> so those are the lashes that I don't wear. And that is this drawer. Now the final drawer, which has the least of all in it, has my um, Purity Cleanser, which I haven't began using yet because I want to use up all of my current cleanser first. That is my Oh What Fun bag that I got in my Sephora per online purchase. And I just keep the little bag in there. And then these are the three Ipsy bags that I've received so far. So we have November. January and then December and I've just been keeping them in this drawer with their products still inside because they're just so cute they're just so cute but I need a better place to put them because sometimes I forget that I even have these products in these little bags because they're not already out in the open where everything else is so if you have any ideas of what I can do with them let me know but for now they're just they're just down here <laughs> So that is everything in this little drawer set here, and that is everything that I have to show you. That is my complete bathroom tour, and you've already seen my vanity desk. So that's all that I have to share with you on this makeup collection video. Okay, that's it for this makeup collection video. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and if you enjoy seeing my videos, of course. And I will see you in the next one. Bye!